Welcome to one of two videos based on a recent trip to Dartmoor. This one concentrates on the trip itself while camping and the landscapes and some of the photography involved during the daytime. The second video looks particularly at the astro and night photography. Hope you enjoy this one. It's been a long time. I'm trying to think when my last trip was. So this is a camping trip. I did a, uh, a vlog, uh, a photography one uh, for an autumn photo shoot. That was back in September, October time. Finally got around to publishing it, I think sometime in February, <laughs> maybe early March. Took a long time, all sorts of stuff going on. Well, finally, 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 we are allowed out and um, I'm on Dartmoor and I've come back to an old haunt because you know I've been here several times in this area I know it quite well it's the Merivale area on Dartmoor and I just love it. Um, bought a couple of new pieces of equipment um, for this particular trip I thought I would just show you because uh, I need to sp save space because um, bringing both sets of camera equipment um, astro stuff and normal landscape photography uh, suddenly my rucksack is really full. So I'm going to ditch this thing. Uh, this is my um, trespass, um, what do you call it, self-inflating mattress. And I'm going to swap it for this very much smaller one, uh, which I bought today. And this is their Traverse IMX inflatable. We'll see how it goes, but look very very much smaller in size. Now then the other thing that I've done that I will show you uh, in a minute when I get a moment um, I because I got a little bit tired of uh, putting all my um, photographic equipment away in the bag and it not being accessible while I was walking um, I decided I needed a solution to that. The solution that I had been working with was to use a um, oh, what was it it's a black not Black Widow, something like that, um, camera strap. Uh, the problem with that is, although it's a really good strap, um, it had to go underneath the rucksack straps and that was really pretty uncomfortable. And, um, and so I wanted an alternative to that. Uh, so I have made myself a kind of strap-based mount uh, that will go on the, on the strap here, just under my shoulder, uh, that will, attaches with the, um, with the Nikon quick release system, sorry the Manfrotto quick release system uh, that I have on my Sony uh, camera, Sony RX10 Mark IV. So I'm going to try that out today and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's going to make everything a lot more accessible for me. Well here we are. I am climbing up towards uh, Little Staple Tor. So here we go looking back down towards the car park there. It's quite a hazy day. I just love these um, ponies. Uh, still got uh, vestiges of their winter coats and um, particularly in this wind this mare just on the rise there is uh, catching the wind in its mane. Heavily pregnant. Uh, I guess likely to fall fairly soon. I'm not exactly sure what time of the year, but she's certainly got a pretty full belly there. And then look at this landscape and the way these clouds are just skitting over the, over the hills and creating this patchwork of shadows moving across. So here we have a new foal, very young from the looks of it. And that's this mother nearby, a lovely little colour there. So uh, forgive me breaking in with some overdubbing here, but 
I just need to explain what happened next because I was sat here watching all of these horses and um, they kind of got used to me being there. I must have been there for about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so just watching how these horses were grazing and interacting with each other and feeling very separate from them and safe up on my little perch here. And then uh, quite suddenly this large stallion decided to come and uh, visit me and clambered up these rocks like a mountain goat and decided to, um, well the first thing it did was actually come right up to me and eat the grass directly between my feet where I was sat. It was an absolute statement by this horse about who was in charge here. Um, an amazing little encounter, uh, such a, a wonderful moment to remember. Anyway, here we go, back to the story. Well, so that was a, quite a nice little visit to, uh, uh, which is it, middle stable tour, I think. And uh, there was something strangely special and uh, intimate about being in amongst those horses in that way. I can't say I'm a big fan uh, of horses. I'm slightly afraid of them. Uh, as I am with cows, and uh, some people might find that a bit irrational. Uh, but nevertheless, um, that was just really quite, quite an encounter. And uh, so I hope you enjoy some of that uh, some of that footage. Not quite sure what to make of it. It's not a wildlife channel, but nevertheless, it is part of being it out and about amongst uh, about amongst nature and the landscape. Let me introduce you to my little camera gizmo here. And I've got to say, this is working really well. I have tried other proper, so to speak, uh, camera straps um, or strap mounts for cameras uh, in the past uh, to mount on my rucksack strap. And they've just been so uncomfortable has really not worked out. Well, this one, I just took an old Manfrotto uh, mounting bracket, um, a standard quarter 20 bolt and a washer, stuck those through the, through the strap of my rucksack and uh, screwed them to the, uh, to the Manfrotto quick release plate. I've got to say, is working a charm. It's brilliant. Cost me about, I don't know, 30p? Something else that has surprised me today is that I have, well so far, I've had this place since leaving the car park. Other than the horses, I've had this place completely to myself. And uh, I must admit, I thought it would be busier. Great staple tour. Oh, I love this place. Look at these rocks. It's just magnificent. As you approach it, this sort of gateway, you become almost surrounded by these stone ramparts that curve around here. Absolutely wonderful. Well, welcome to a little Mexican rice chili, with chili I think, something like that. Mexican 
more merchant gourmet Mexican style rice. This is a bit of a tradition for me. Um, another tradition which I managed to not film earlier was uh, Melton Mowbray pork pie. Uh, and then um, I've also got a big soup around which I'll probably have in the morning for breakfast just to get me going with a bit of porridge as well. So I've got plenty to eat. There's fruit, nuts, all sorts of stuff. All quite uh, well, reasonably healthy I think. Not too bad. I am looking forward to this. So, food is ready. So it's been a good day. Um, I'm looking over towards uh, Great Staple Tour. Uh, I can see one other camper over there, very, very discreetly um, pitched uh, with a green tent, similar to, similar to mine, so really quite difficult to, uh, to spot, actually. Um, so, yeah, I'm not entirely alone in this part of the world. There is other signs of life now as well. Well, this is one of my favourite views on the moors and uh, I have taken a couple of nice pictures from here in the past. Um, not sure it's really going to light up tonight. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll see. And um, I thought that these big boulders, these rocks um, from the tour, might make quite a nice study for a, um, for a bit of light painting uh, later. And, uh, but we'll see. Uh, on the um, western horizon over there, well, um, Potentially some breaks in the cloud, uh, but the sky is looking a bit cloudy all the way to the to the horizon. Um, so whether it lights up the underside of this cloud bank uh, that's immediately above us or not, I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Just for a brief moment, the sun kind of came out to play. We're getting a little bit of action here on the clouds. And uh, so I've been running around like a mad thing, seeing what I can get and just hoping <laughs> beyond hope uh, that things are in focus. Uh, um, so I'm trying to operate uh, these two cameras side by side at the moment to do pretty much the same shoot. So I've got the Sony RX10 Mark IV on the right and I've got the uh, Nikon D750 uh, with the f sorry, with the 20mm lens uh, on the left. And, uh, and I have been trying to use uh, the Lee filter um, just sort of manually held in front of the in front of the lenses um, so that I can uh, swap between the two uh, cameras to do that. Um, <laughs> that's probably not the best of ideas. Look, there's a little bit happening in the sky. I've got to make sure I capture at least some of this. I'll, uh, I'll pick this up again in a minute. Well, sadly, that was, um, uh, that was about it, really. Um, there's a tiny bit of colour in the sky but um, the um, let's see if I can get out of the way there there we are like um, yeah tiny bit of colour in the sky but the sun is behind that uh, bank of clouds on the horizon and so it's just it's just not going to play anymore really um, so we've got a lot of cloud cover uh, and so that also means, um, yeah, still not looking like I'm going to get stars. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to breakfast. Dartmoor style porridge oats with honey, something like that. A cup of coffee. Had a little apple earlier. 
just to get some energy going and start to warm me up. And uh, this smells good already. This is the uh, breakfast version of pot noodle, I suppose. So this turned out to be a good place to pitch. Um, it wasn't too lumpy. And uh, I have to say that the new um, sleep mat, inflatable seat sleep mat, did its job really well. Um, it feels like it might be very flimsy uh, because it's um, because it's so thin, but it's made of anti-rip material. That doesn't mean it's anti-puncture material. It's not Kevlar, so um, so you've got to be quite careful. I think what you put it down on, make sure there's nothing sharp uh, underneath your your tent. It's still foggy behind me uh, over there. In fact, that cloud looks like it might roll in this way and if it does I'll get wet so I'm gonna have a quick breakfast and get packed up. No sign of my neighbour as yet up on Great Staple Tour. But yeah that cloud bank coming in looks a little bit threatening. So it's time to say goodbye to this place. Uh, the rain is just about holding off. I uh, had a few spit spots that prompted me to get everything in the bag back then, uh, but actually it's just about held off. So I'm not gonna put the rain covers on. Uh, I've got about a mile and a half or so walk back to the car, not too bad at all. And uh, looking forward now to a, a nice quiet, hopefully, drive home and, uh, and then put some video and pictures together from what I did last night.